a desert landscape, untouched for centuries. Shifting sands, where civilizations were built on traditional pursuits. But the discovery of oil 60 years ago brought about a dramatic transformation. Abu Dhabi is now a teeming multinational metropolis with one of the most expensive eye-catching skylines in the world. The population has doubled in the last 10 years to nearly two and a half million people. This multicultural capital lies at the heart of the United Arab Emirates and its 200 islands. Abu Dhabi is also the instantly recognizable stage for the first race of the 2016 Red Bull Air Race World Championship. I haven't been this motivated in a long time, you know, so I mean, I'm just a little bit more optimistic this time because we did have some time and we're able to do some improvements to the airplane and I do think that they're going to pay big dividends for us. The title battle promises to be intense, possibly the closest ever, with a growing group of pilots challenging to be top gun. If we fly the same as we did last year, we're, we're going to do well. How well? It depends on everyone else. We finished fourth in last season, so of course we definitely aim for the, the podium. Uh, it will be a tough season, but definitely I count on my experience, count on my team, and if we stay cool, we should be able to fight for the championship title. The goal for this season is to become Red Bull Airways World Champion. Two new pilots have joined the series for 2016, both graduates from the Challenger Cup. Peter Kopstein from the Czech Republic, and Peter Podlunczek from Slovenia. Meanwhile, the 2014 champion is preparing for his final season of competition. I'm very, very motivated to win and then hang up my flying gloves in Las Vegas in October. Eight races across the globe lie ahead for the 14 Masterclass pilots. With more points at stake in the new race format, the competition has only got hotter. It's smoke on for the 2016 Red Bull Air Race World Championship.